Should you be using TrueNAS Scale or TrueNAS Core for your enterprise deployments here in 2024? Well, I answered this question last year, but I figured, hey, why not answer again this year? Because, well, I just did a video talking about the future of TrueNAS. You'll find that video linked down below. But of course, the BSD question comes up a lot. Why would you deploy TrueNAS Core if BSD, well, maybe has not as bright of a future as people were hoping for? And that's what I want to dive into today, make an updated comparison to talk about these two. And because we do a lot of consulting, I'm going to give you my perspective on what we're doing for businesses. But this may not be exactly what you want to do, whether you're a business or a home user. I just want to give you some of those thoughts I have on it. I have a little comparison chart you're going to find in the forums. And uh, let's dive into it and start looking at the comparison to figure out which is right for you here in 2024. <music> Before we get to the comparison chart, I just want to start by answering that, yes, we're still using the TrueNAS Core FreeBSD based for our clients. The reason why is actually pretty simple. Core is very stable. It's very predictable. Not that I'm saying TrueNAS Scale is unstable if you want to run it as a NAS, but the applications mean there's still some debugging to do on those. They keep getting better with every iteration, but most of the problems you'll find if you look in the forums are going to be around those applications. Back over to Core, those applications are not something businesses are asking us for. They usually want it for an SMB share tied to their Active Directory. They want it for an NFS, maybe tied to the back end of a Linux process they have where they need to store some logs or maybe even a virtualization target or even iSCSI. Those functions are really solid, really dependable in core. They're good in scale. I don't have any problems with them. But that ARC cache, that is a feature that is, well, more refined in FreeBSD than it is in scale right now. Scale's working on fixing that. They're supposed to have some releases out later this year that are going to fix and adjust the ARC cache to be more on par with the performance you get out of FreeBSD. Now, the performance overall is really neck and neck with these, but the ARC cache tuning, there's an edge that you have with FreeBSD that scale is still catching up to, and it's just time and coding to get all of that done. They're working towards it. Are they stable with it today? No. Will it be soon? Yes, I predict it will be. Now, the good news is for clients that we've installed TrueNAS Core on, you can slide on over to scale. You can reload over the top without having to destroy all the data sets or redo everything. This is one of the things I really like that we can keep our clients on here. And if a time arises where there's no updates or security problem that we have to address that is just not available in core because of lack of support or lack of updates at some distant future where something happens, yeah, we're able to move over. Let's jump into the comparison charts because it may not be the right solution because you want to run all those extra applications and you want those latest features and you want to be on the cutting edge of what's coming out. So that's what TrueNAS scales for. So let's dive into the comparison. Now, this is the comparison chart that you're going to find over in my forums, and you'll find it linked down below in the description. But let's jump right to the containerization discussion. Way more support is going to be for scale containerization. They're using a custom Docker Kubernetes. They have a long list of applications that are frequently getting updates that are getting the latest versions. That's just not the same over at IOCage. While IOCage is a really great system in BSD, the lack of support, lack of developers, lack of people putting together applications for it, kind of leaves you out in the cold if that's your goal is to run applications on your NAS. And as I said, this is not a big business request we have, but I know a lot of home users want to run the latest media applications, and there's a lot of them available for TrueNAS scale. Virtualization. This is not going to be as robust as a full-on dedicated hypervisor solution, but yes, you can run some dedicated VMs in there. I have a tutorial on how to do that. Both of these can be centrally managed via True Command. That is the commercial software from IX Systems that lets you manage fleets of these. And yes, you can mix and match. You can have some that are scale, some that are core, and True Command giving you a dashboard to all of your systems. Then high availability. You can get from IX Systems, they are hardware that supports high availability. I've reviewed the M50 before on my channel, and the IX Systems hardware does support on both scale and core high availability still. Scaling out via Gluster. This is something I talked about in my last video. Gluster is now dead, so that project is no more, but there is something new coming. Chris Moore commented this in the forums. There's not really a full announcement yet as to how they're going to replace Clustered going in the future, but for right now, this was a beta of Gluster and it got deprecated before it really ever came out. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. 
Now, once you go down the rest of it here, we'll jump actually down to the share options because they're pretty much the same throughout these, you know, snapshots, encryptions, the functionality part of it. But they did both and TrueNAS Core, the upcoming release, deprecates the S3 buckets and the R-Sync. Those are getting pulled away from the core OS as it is in scale. So it's just your SMB, NFS, iSCSI. And if you want those R-Sync features or S3 features, they're being moved back over to applications that are better supported. And as I said, you can still have Active Directory support both in core and in scale. Now, I know this is a polarizing topic for some people, so leave your comments down below if you're Team TrueNAS Core or Team TrueNAS Scale. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content from the channel, or head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com, where you'll find this comparison chart where you can engage with me on this topic or any other topic that you find on the channel. And thank you. Thank you.